One of my favorite things as a learning designer is to find a way to meaningfully integrate concepts from different subject areas into one holistic learning experience. In today's video, I want to show you how Sean Smith and I collaborated and integrated science concepts with fantasy writing to create a project-based learning experience. Hi, I'm David Lee. Come for the innovative teaching and learning, stay for the student empowerment. Hope you're doing well and I hope you are ready to geek out about some project-based learning. Sean Smith, a fifth grade teacher at Singapore American School, came to me to see if we could integrate the NGSS science standards of matter and energy and organisms and ecosystems into fantasy writing. Students had to use models to describe that energy in animals' food was once energy from the sun. Important in argument that plants get the materials they need to grow chiefly from air and water. Develop a model to describe the movement of matter among plants, animals, decomposers, and the environment. And finally, develop a model using an example to describe ways the geosphere, biosphere, hydrosphere, and the atmosphere interact. Looking at these standards, I realized that these ideas were essentially interconnected components within ecosystems, as well as how the Earth's spheres are interconnected. I then started to think about how spheres, ecosystems, and organisms are related to fantasy writing. This required me to get into my edupermaculture mindset, a mindset that helps me to simulate experiences or directly utilize behavior, strategies, practices, and systems found in successful real-world learning environments and integrate them into school learning experiences and ecosystems. I asked myself, what professional would utilize these concepts and skills, and how would they apply them within a real-world context? With some investigation and reflection, this led me to the process of world-building, and one of my favorite stories, The Lord of the Rings. I was always fascinated by how J.R.R. Tolkien, the author of The Lord of the Rings, was able to create a fantasy world called Middle-earth that felt so real. It included its own comprehensive mythological cosmology, the origin and evolution of the world, a complete history divided into three great time periods, and even full languages for each of the different people of Middle-earth, my favorite being Elvish. The process of creating this fantasy world is known as world building, the part of the writing process that sets up where your story takes place. According to Masterclass, the purpose of world building is to create a place where the characters live and carry out the story. It's a process where the author develops rules, boundaries, and how everything exists within the world. Students could design the geography of their fantasy world, what types of living things like animals, plants, decomposers it would include, and how matter and energy flows within this fantasy world. Through this real world context, I developed the following driving question. How might we create a fantasy story that includes its own unique fantasy world? It is important to note that the project started at the beginning of the writing and science units. The project was not added at the end of the unit, but the project itself was the unit. From here, I created a learning narrative, a visual representation of what students would experience within the unit to help teachers see the relationships between the learning events within any project. It shows a chain of learning events that depicts students' uh, learning experiences as a compelling story in project-based learning and provides a holistic view of how each learning event is essential to the overall narrative, but also how the concepts or the standards of the unit or project are connected to one another. So now let's take a look at what the students got to experience. In writing, Sean asked the following driving question. What makes a fantasy story powerful? This led to the class examining an exemplar fantasy writing piece from a past fifth grade student using a writing rubric. This sample was a way for students to see high quality fantasy writing, but not only highlight the strengths of the piece, but also highlighting things that could be improved, really dissecting what good fantasy writing would look like. This led to the instruction and learning activities about how to organize their writing, identifying the lesson or theme of the story, identifying what is the cause of the problem, and the effects of the problem. They also got to create their fantasy characters. They sketched out what they would look like and provide a description of the character, and identified what fantasy magic powers or abilities each character would have, and what problem they would face. During this time, students were also investigating science concepts to learn about how matter and energy flows within ecosystems, and how Earth's spheres are interconnected and interact with one another within a large system. 
For matter and energy flow, Sean led the students to examine different ecosystems, their food chains, and visited the local rainforest to see how energy in animals' food was once energy from the sun, and grew their own plants to observe how plants capture energy from the sun through a chemical process. The goal was to see how food can be traced back to plants and the sun within cycles of matter and energy transfer between the soil, air, plants, and animals. And as a result, see how there was an interdependent relationship between the elements of each ecosystem. In addition, students also examined different ecosystems to identify in what ways spheres, Earth's major systems, interact with one another. For example, within this ecosystem, the rain and snow, which is the hydrosphere, comes down from the atmosphere, the air, and shapes the geosphere, the rock, soil, and sediments, and provides life to the biosphere, living things including humans. With these new science concepts and skills, Sean asked the students, how can we connect our study of the Earth's spheres and interactions to our fantasy worlds? The goal was for students to apply their learning or transfer their learning to fantasy writing context. Transfer learning is where you find a new context where students can apply their organizational understanding of conceptual relationships. Our concepts being systems and the interaction of earth systems and the interaction of elements within the matter and energy flow of ecosystems. Sean asked his students to create their fantasy world for their writing piece through the process of world building. Using what they learned, students designed the geography of their world, uh, the types of landforms and physical properties of the world's surface, um, also created a model of the environment within the world that identified the spheres that would interact with one another. I found some of the worlds really interesting because there were examples with floating islands which showed how the geosphere system was interacting with the atmosphere system. Students also identified the living things within the ecosystem, including the characters of their stories, and then described the matter and energy flow between the different elements of the environment. Here are some of the questions students were asked for each particular science concept. Now students had a comprehensive world for their fantasy story, making the story come more alive for the reader. For both the fantasy writing and the fantasy world, students were provided with the opportunity for critique and revision. With the culmination of their work, students created two things. First was their writing piece, their story. The second was a screen recording video. Students used Minecraft EDU to bring their fantasy worlds to life. They recorded themselves explaining the geography of the world, the spheres that interact with one another, and how the matter and energy flows between the different elements of their world. Sean observed that the engagement was at an all-time high and the level of collaboration was impressive. Organically, the experts in Minecraft supported their classmates and provided advanced building tips to each other. Students used Apple Clips to provide text overlays and background music. Their final edits and voice recordings were done in iMovie, and the final products were uploaded to Seesaw. Students celebrated each other's success with a reading celebration of their published writing, followed by viewing parties of the final Minecraft EDU world builds. Let's examine how this project included elements of project-based learning. First, students were learning within a real-world authentic challenge or scenario creating a fantasy story and a fantasy world through world building. This authentic context led to sustained inquiry. The challenge was what drove the inquiry, questions that led to investigations for important information. And finally, throughout the process, students had voice and choice in what they wanted to create. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more project-based learning videos like this. If you want to see another project I did with students that involved the same science standards, check the link for the video I made in the description below. I want to shout out the grade 5 science team, the ELA team, Sean, Sarah, and of course the students who participated in this learning experience for making all of this possible. Until next time, stay perpetually in beta, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.